What's up, people? How's it going? Welcome back to Sleepy with Swindle. So, in this video, we'll be discussing uh, the solutions for some interesting problems from Coach of Starter 116. Now, before moving on to the solutions, I lately noticed that most of the viewers of this channel are not subscribed to it. So, I request you to take a moment and uh, subscribe to the channel so that it will be motivating for people like me to make editorials and videos on CP in the future. So, with that, thanks for the consideration. Now, let's start with discussing solutions for the problem. Now, let's discuss the solution for the problem exact savings, which uh, is a very interesting problem. And in addition to this has only been solved by 133 people. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started with uh, the problem statement. So, in this problem, uh, Chef is working at a restaurant and he gets paid X rupees per hour. Right? Now, he also visits some uh, gift shop and, and he can buy each gift at most for, for once. Right? Now, we have to find out the minimum number of hours that Chef has to work where he'll be earning uh, X number of rupees for each and every hour. And after spending something at the uh, gift shop, we should be exactly left with Z rupees. Right? So, how to solve this problem? So, this is a very interesting problem uh, which can be solved using dynamic programming. So, before diving on to the dynamic programming, so we have to form some equations for it. Right? So, uh, with the given... Uh, information let's try to form some equations so if chef works for some uh, one hour then he'll gain some uh, x rupees right so let's say he works for some uh, a number of hours and after that uh, he'll be spending something at the uh, gifts let's say the total sum is uh, g after doing these two things we should be left with exactly z number of rupees right so this is the equation that we have we know the values for x and then the coefficient of this a which is uh, x so we know the value of x and then g so which will be given the uh, problem statements right so uh, let's just rearrange it so x into a will be equal to uh, g plus z right now if you see this g plus z should be a multiple of x right one of the sum will be equal to x into a so ultimately we know we get to know that g plus z should be a uh, multiple of x which means that uh, the modulo should be equal to zero so, if we apply the uh, modulus operators, then we'll be getting g, uh, g modulo x plus uh, z modulo x equals to 0. So, if you, if you just take this particular example, uh, the value of x is uh, 5 over here, and then the z is 15. g modulo x plus uh, 12 modulo 5 will be equal to 0. Right? So, this will ultimately be something like this. So, g modulo x plus uh, actually, this is 5. Right. So, this value will be 2. So, uh, we are just taking a modulo by 5 and then we ultimately got uh, the answer as 0. Right. So, uh, g modulo 5 should have been 3 so that when we take the sum, uh, the modulo by 5 is giving a remainder of 0. So, now we now got what answers this g could take. So, g could take uh, some uh, sums as 3, 8, 13 and so on because these will be leaving us a remainder of 3. So we can take all the elements which leave us a remainder of 3 and among all the gift values or gift sums which have a remainder of 3, I want the least sum that is possible. So we have this array, right? We have this array of 1 to 5. So with this, we have to find out the uh, different sums which leave us a remainder of uh, 3 and among them, the minimum sum should be taken as the answer, right? So that's how we, got, we had to solve this problem. Now, how to solve this with uh, D DP, that is the dynamic program. Now, what if I say, for all the values of reminder, I'll be calculating the least sum that is possible. I'll be defining my DP as uh, DP of n of x. So, DP of n of x means that for uh, n elements taken into consideration, what is the minimum sum that is possible, which leaves as a reminder of x, right? So, this is what uh, DP of n of x means. So, the minimum sum that is possible with 10 elements, which leaves a reminder of x. What if I say I just uh, loop over all the elements uh, from 0 to uh, n minus 1. I'll be trying to construct the answer for all the uh, remainder values. This is, uh, I'll be having another loop, let's say uh, j, which loops over the remainder values. So, the remainder can go from 0 to x minus 1. Right? So, for each and every element, so let's say uh, the current element is array of i. So, I'll be pairing it up with the previous uh, value or uh, the uh, minimum sum that is possible for i minus 1 elements uh, for the mod value of j. So, dp of i of, uh, so dp of i minus 1 of j means that 
and taking i minus 1 elements into consideration and this will be giving us the these sum that is possible which leaves a remainder of j right so i'll be uh, mapping or i'll be adding the current element with that particular value the remainder that is possible uh, for this particular sum will be sum modulo x so when i uh, merge this array with some element which leaves a remainder of j then i'm getting a uh, remainder new remainder of rem so i'll be updating the value for i with the remainder as rem that is i'm taking i elements into consideration and i'm getting a remainder of rem and the, what is, what could be the uh, minimum sum that is possible so it will be the minimum of the previous rows value for the same rem value and then the current sum so this nothing but sum right i'm just taking the sum of the current element with the previous uh, rows uh, some mod mod value so that i get some uh, new remainder value and i'll be updating the that particular remainder value for the current row so ultimately you can say that for each and every row the values of mod will be having the minimum sum for that particular mod value right so uh, this should be done for all the values right now uh, once this is being done i just need to find out uh, the optimal answer for us right so uh, let's go back to the equation uh, which we got over here so this is the equation that we had right right now i just need to know the value of g modulo x so how can we know the value of it so g uh, modulo x will be x minus uh, z modulo x and then overall mod so what am i doing over here now if you go back to this so z, z modulo x uh, left out a remainder of 2 and we are taking the remainder of by 5 so 5 minus 2 will be 3 so if you have a value of 3 or if you have a remainder of 3 over here then we will be having a total sum of 5 when uh, we take the modulo we will be getting a remainder of 0 so this particular answer will be 5 there is a total x value minus this particular remainder so that's what i'm doing over here x the ultimate value minus this small remainder right so this will uh, give us the answer or the remainder which we are looking for now let's say uh, this equals to some rem so we are ultimately inter interested in the value of dp of n of rem so this will be the sum of all the values of the gifts which will be taken into consideration now if you just uh, look out for uh, the ultimate sum so uh, all we want to find out is uh, the total number of hours right so the total number of hours uh, in this case will be this a so this g plus uh, z divided by x so what is g so g is nothing but it, it is this so I can rename it as G, right? So uh, the total number of hours hours will be uh, G plus X by G plus Z by X, and G is nothing but its DP of n of rem, and then the uh, value of Z is nothing but it will be given in the problem statement, and then divided by the value of X. So we'll be constructing a DP uh, which has two states. So the first will be the number of elements, and the second will be the uh, reminder which we are constructing right so this is how we can build a dp uh, and after building a dp we'll be just finding out the reminder which we need and then uh, it, it will be ultimately determined the g value and uh, we can find the total hours with the help of this formula right so this is how we can solve this now let's discuss the uh, implementation for this problem so we'll be using dp for this problem so i have declared a dp array in the global scope uh, which has uh, two parameters or two states so first one will be n and then the second will be x so the maximum value for n is uh, 10 power 5 so i have taken uh, n plus 1 and then the x plus 1 right so for each and every test case i'll be uh, taking n x and y and then the uh, input for the vector now the uh, i'll be just initializing all the elements to 10 power 8 so whenever the uh, remainder is zero i need not take any gifts into consideration so if we uh, if you want the remainder to be zero then the sum can also be zero right so if we don't take any of the elements, the sum will be zero. Hence, for all the first first column, there is dp of i of zero, I'll be uh, assigning the value of zero, right? So with that being said, I'll be constructing the dp. So how to construct that? So uh, here I have told you that I'll be taking the current element and the previous element into consideration. So the current element will be v of i minus one. So as I have uh, taken the elements in uh, uh, zero based induction, so I'll be uh, taking v of i minus one. So the current element is p of i minus 1 and previous element will be uh, dp of i minus 1 and I am taking the current, I mean previous element for the same mod, right. So over there I have just combined these two steps and then I have taken the, uh, and then I have applied the mods over here. So uh, new remainder will be 
current element mod x and then the previous element mod x. So uh, I'll just do this when the value of i is greater than 1 because if the value of i is 1 then it, it is a first row. So we won't be having any previous elements to consider. right? So the new remainder will be current uh, element plus uh, previous element modulo x. For the uh, current row and then this new remainder, I'll be updating the value. So what could be the minimum value? So it will be the minimum of the dp of i minus 1 for the same uh, remainder or the current element plus the previous element which is taken consideration. So this particular if condition handles the case, then we don't have any possible case which adds up to that particular mod value. So if the previous element itself is uh, 10 power 18 and it's not the first element, then we can't uh, build that particular solution. Then I'll be continuing the next index. Now once this is being done, then I'll be playing with the values of uh, x and then z to get the value for the remainder that we, that we want, that is uh, g of g modulo x. Right. So the needed index uh, remainder will be x minus uh, z modulo x whole modulo x and then uh, we'll be just checking whether the uh, dp is defined for that particular uh, element. So if it's already 10 power 18 then as I uh, told you earlier we won't be having any value for that. So we'll be printing minus 1 otherwise we'll be taking uh, this particular sum of g plus z and then we'll be dividing it by x. So g plus z will be so z plus uh, dp of uh, n of this particular reminder which we calculated. Uh, so this will be the sum and uh, for finding out the total number of parts will be just dividing by x. So this is the ultimate way to solve this problem. And uh, if you see over here I have just taken integers uh, but I have made all the integers to long long over here. So I do not care about the integer overflows. So this is how we can solve this absolutely uh, difficult looking problem with dynamic programming. So that's all about it for today guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and you learned how to solve the problem. And uh, with that being said, uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do consider subscribing so that it will be motivating for me to do a lot of videos in the future. In addition to that, I have recently started a series of videos where I discuss about uh, segment trees in detail. So if you're interested in segment trees or want to learn segment trees, then you may consider watching uh, this playlist. So with that being said, it's me since signing off for the day and goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you.